Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous lecture, I mean till our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll draw our grid line, how we'll edit that, how we'll define our section properties, materials properties, etc. So after completing that, we have to define our load case. Okay. So I'm just going to show that how we'll define load case. So to define load case, you have to go analyze, and after that, you just have to come here load case here see load case and after that load combination so simply click here load case and here you are seeing that different types of uh, load case are available and here the load nature okay so what i will do i will select that one and delete that yes okay so first of all that is what i will consider dead load and case number one and from here what will be that will be dead and load category that is dead okay after that simply click a duplicate and from here we'll consider wall load or partition wall partition wall and that will be also nature that will be dead and category also that will be dead again duplicate then select them floor finish and here dead load and also that will be dead load after that again duplicate okay and here live load from here we have to select live load and from here we have to select live load then again duplicate and row of live load okay or row of load then from here it will be not live the row of live and from here also we have to select row of live load then again click duplicate okay then here earthquake x from here we will select snow seismic from here also we will select seismic load right again duplicate and so I'll consider that one for y again duplicate and from here it will be wind x from here will change wind and from here will change We load okay again copy of it then duplicate S simply wind y then wind and wind load so we have defined our all of load cases now load nature so simply we need dead load live load then wind load we don't need uh, snow load if you need then you can assign here same way then I'll delete that then accidental I'll delete that then temperature also I'll delete that so it's okay date life row of life wind and seismic right we have defined our load case perfectly and if you come here So if you come here now you can add the load combination so in our another lecture I'll show that how we'll define our load combination okay so thank you thank you very much yes still yes to connect it till next video and obviously if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first then just simply click ok after that it's okay and save your model like that okay